because you're always on the go, always on the road. I know you've done a lot of traveling. What similarities have you noticed between girls here in Canada and in other parts of the world? Well, I've been fortunate enough to be able to tour and record all around the world. Um, mostly traveling between Canada, the US, Caribbean, Southeast Asia, and Japan. But I honestly found that girls around the world are just like girls here. Uh, we get together, listen to music, kick it, sometimes talk about boys. But you don't know, worry about how you look. All of these things are very, very similar. Um, the one thing that stood out to me was that media around the world that tells girls how to look, how to dress, how to talk, all of these things was pretty much the same across the board as being received by young women. Tokyo, and I regard Tokyo a pretty modern city, but uh, I found out that as a woman, and I was told as a woman, I could not go to a business meeting without makeup on or I would not be taken seriously at all. Well, the only reason we're taking you seriously right now is because you're wearing green eyeshadow. Yep. I mean, I'm just saying. Eyeshadow is very serious. Very <laughs> Completely serious. serious. All <laughs> business. Joking aside, you seem very comfortable and confident being major one. Have you always been that way? Man, I'd love to say yes. I'm always ready to go. But uh, honestly, it's it's a growing process. Um, it sounds cliche, but I, I really, really learned that how you feel inside is what you're projecting to other people. It's how people perceive you. So being in this business, I mean, between magazines and TV and being in the public eye and being in the media, it's it's a crazy business. I mean, I've been told many times, oh, Meijia, you know, we're not saying you're fat or anything, but maybe you could lose some weight. <laughs> You, or you. Yeah. Yeah. Or um, I've been offered money to rap in a bikini. Uh, that was a good one too. Um, I've been offered money to spit lyrics that I'm not comfortable with, speaking about sexuality and things like that, which I don't really feel to rap about. So it's a crazy thing. A lot of things go on behind the scenes in the music business that you don't see. I mean, we, we like to see like the overnight successes of things, but you don't see young girls being brought up in talent schools, in. Uh, to, to become a product later on in life. So a lot of crazy things. I would say at the end of the day, I know that I respect myself. I draw boundaries of what I will or will not do, and I stick by it, you know, and that it's part of the process. It's a part of a growing process. To